Welcome to Moscow. Please enjoy your stay. The boss is expecting you. Right this way. Showtime. Okay, Jerry, we have no visuals inside. It's on you now. Assalamu alaikum. Take a seat. You have traveled a long way. Please, I insist. You'll have to forgive the less than tasteful decor. The fancy hotels are all booked for the anti-terrorism summit. <laughs> Is that it? All of it? Gentlemen, please. Please. We are all friends here. Opposite theology. I understand you are anxious here, in your enemy's territory, but that is precisely why you are safe. No one would dream of looking for you here right under their noses. Hmm? Of course, mistrust is healthy when conducting these sorts of transactions. But rest assured, gentlemen, Nobody wants to die today. We are honest criminals. Pokajimo. Here it comes. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. You're happy? Yes. I'll take your word for it. Don't forget this. Without it, she's useless. Davai! What is this? We celebrate a new partnership. There is no need for this. I insist. What's going on? I don't know. Something's not right. He should have confirmed by now. We need to go in. We're not supposed to be engaging at all. Track and confirm only. Our business is concluded. Of course. Uh, what is uh, it? Hazafar! You don't know who? What the hell just happened? 
Not sure. Sleep well, chaps. What is that? A homing beacon has been activated. What? From where? From in there. <laughs> now I know this must look bad. It's actually a very funny story. <laughs> You didn't let me get to the funny part. That was definitely gunfire. Agent Cooper, stand down. You wanna stop me, shoot me. Goodbye. Wait. My finger's on the trigger button. If you shoot me, this whole place becomes a memory. Now lower your weapon and walk away. No. What do you mean, no? I mean, no. I will not lower the weapon. You do understand what will happen if I push this button? Mm-hmm. Okay, so just so we're clear, you're perfectly happy for me to kill us, your friends, your family, and millions of innocent people. Have I got that right? Duh. Because button does nothing without key. That's a good point. <laughs> ah. Ah. You hit good for a lady. Enough. Goodbye. FBI, drop your weapon! Agent Cooper. Agent Cooper, come in. Nothing. What are you doing here? Simon Templer, and at the moment, hiding. Well, Simon, you're interfering with a government operation. Special Agent Cooper, FBI. Since when does the FBI have jurisdiction in Russia? It's a joint task force. Who's coming? Coming? You set off a homing device on the new coup you're trying to contact. Interpol. Bullshit. Look, Agent Cooper, we can sit here with you continuing not to believe me and be turned into Swiss cheese, or we can, I don't know, do something to try and survive. Wait, 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 what are you doing? Making the sensible choice. Cover me. Wait, stop!
Only ten in clip, rookie. You want to reload? I wait. You're welcome. You're under arrest. Are you serious? Always. And what's the charge? I don't know. I'll think of something. Agent Cooper. Agent Cooper, we're in. Better late than never. But don't worry. Situation's under control. We just need to place him under arrest. Who? Patricia, perfect timing. My specialty. How's your Russian adventure? Very Russian, very adventurous. And, uh, not quite over. Escape, what's on your phone? Right. Where am I going? The airport. I'll meet you in Bucharest tomorrow. I've got you a charter flight. Wheels up in an hour. Miss Holm, you are as efficient as you are beautiful. Uh, thank you as always, darling. And I must say, the beard does give you a certain sophistication. Ah, I can't have that. I shall shave it off at the first opportunity. Uh, I like you with a little scruff. I'll take that into consideration. The United Nations Relief Agency has pledged aid to the region, but the money has been held up over fears that it simply won't reach those in need. Meanwhile, President Ezekiel Ibaka is said to have secured nearly $2.5 billion in aid from private entities. The newly elected president who promised to stamp out corruption personally reached out to groups around the world in an effort to keep his country from falling apart. My father was a hero, a warrior, as inspiring as he was fearsome. One of the greatest generals Nigeria has ever known. He loved his country. <laughs> At times, I felt even more than he loved me. It will pain him greatly to know what I have done. He was a proud man who would never stoop to begging as I am. That's not true. Your father will be very proud of you. The lengths to which you've gone to help your people, Mr. President, will go down in history. And remember, it takes courage to ask for help. The generosity you have shown my country has been overwhelming and it will certainly help the healing process but sadly it's still not enough did you ever think that 2.5 billion dollars would not be enough <laughs> well that's why i'm here yeah, i pledge to you and to your country all my talents we will make this work we have to <laughs> yes we will I don't think I've ever seen a ring like this before. Oh, well, a family heirloom. It's very dear to me, actually. It serves as a reminder of a time long ago when the world was very different, less complicated, when good men banded together to fight for what was right. It motivates me to this day. In fact, it brought me here, to you. And I'm incredibly grateful that it did. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have access to the bank accounts at midnight. By 12.01, I want them cleaned out. Yes, sir. Um. What is it? Yes, sir. Should we be doing this? I mean, the 2.5 billion isn't blood money. It's going for aid to people in need. Now don't start growing a conscience, Arnie. You haven't had the experience. 
He asked about your ring, didn't he? It practically sealed the deal. How did you know he would? It's a conversation starter. What did you tell him? The truth. There was a family heirloom. I just didn't tell him it wasn't my family. <laughs> I almost gave it to him. Why? Because he's pathetic, just like the man I took it from. Well, you've kept it all these years. It must mean something to you. Here. It's yours. That's how much it means to me. All right, get on with it. Time's a wasting. Yes, sir. Simon Templar, you're the most peculiar thief I know. Coming from you, I'll take that as a compliment. You have the list? Right here. 800,000 to Doctors Without Borders. 750,000 to Migrant Assistance. Mm -hmm. 1.5 million to Children's Hunger Fund. Listen, you want to give all this money to children? They're so little. Maybe they don't eat so much. Your money, you're the boss. Just make sure the money gets where it needs to go. Minus my very little commission. Minus your rather hefty commission that several of your competitors would gladly undercut. Yes, but they don't have my good looks. Or your discretion, old friend. And in international news, $2.5 billion earmarked to aid the nation of Nigeria has apparently gone missing. Newly elected President Ezekiel Ibaka has vowed to find the missing funds or resign. Did you watch it? Yes, it's hardly news. Just another corrupt dictator stealing from his people. Plus ça change. No, I trust him. I think he's just been trusting the wrong people. And you know this because? A hunch, a little digging I've been doing on my own. You're yeah, very entrepreneurial of you, darling. Better watch my back, you'll have my job. No, you can keep it, darling. I like being the brains of the operation. Oh, is that what you are? So what does that make me? The muscle, love. You're all muscle. Now listen. I've recently seen the Nigerian president in the company of this man. Just sent it to your phone. Who's this? I don't have a name yet, but I've run his picture through every facial recognition database I could tap into. The only other time he ever appears is in an NSA surveillance photo with Sheikh Mohammed Al Kabiri, a terrorist financier who's now enjoying a lifelong vacation in a CIA black prison somewhere. There's something oddly familiar about him. Let me guess. You rode together at Oxford? <laughs> Tell you what, let's do some more digging. If you can find some leads on the missing money... This could be right up our boulevard. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Already on it. What 
Simon? Yes, darling? I might have been wrong about the beard. It makes you a little, dare I say, older. Goodbye, darling. You, gentlemen, were the only ones who got perfect scores on your exams. I am most surprised at you, Mr. Templer. You had perfect grades. You did not need to steal the answer sheets. I never looked at the answers, sir. And yet you felt compelled to break into the master's office? We didn't break in, sir. I made an impression of the key. <laughs> so you admit it? There's nothing to admit, sir. You caught us, which never would have happened if you'd stuck to the plan. You were supposed to miss a few answers on purpose. Why would you steal an exam paper? You don't need to cheat. You're a Templar. You have a responsibility. I expect you to conduct yourself in a certain manner in this world. I didn't cheat. I stole. I appreciate the distinction. But why, Simon? I wanted them to like me. I wanted to be a part of something. You are a part of something. A part of what? A family of rich snobs no one likes? Do you have any idea how this family acquired its fortune? Do you even know what it is I do for a living? Well, perhaps it's time you learned. You've seen this before, haven't you? Well, that is the symbol of the Knights Templar. Who is Knights Templar? That's a very interesting question. See, a long time ago, in 1119, just after the end of the First Crusade, a small band of knights were traveling back from the war. You did good, Coop. Why don't you take some time off? You've earned it. I, uh, I want to open a new investigation. What? Simon Templer? Who's that? They, uh, they call him the Saint. I talked to Brodsky at Interpol as well as an Inspector Teal over at Scotland Yard. They've been after him for years. He's an international thief. He's wanted for money laundering, computer fraud, smuggling. This the guy from Russia? Yeah. Coop, look, uh, you're the kid genius and all, but the director feels we went way out of our comfort zone for you the last time. There's nothing on this guy that involves the United States, for sure not domestically. We're the FBI, not the CIA or Interpol. He compromised an active anti-terrorism operation. We're, what, we're, we're sorry, we're, we're gonna let him walk? It's not our problem. The Bureau won't back you in this. No, but you... I won't back you. Speaking of Interpol, I'd ever check out. What? In your report, you said this saint set off a homing device alerting Interpol to the nuke. Did that ever check out? Yeah, 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 yeah it did. What's your point? So maybe he wasn't really the bad guy in the situation? What about the gold? He took off with most of the bullion, didn't he? Or what, do you think he gave it to charity? Agent Cooper, I don't want to hear you talk about this saint again. And you know what? No more field trips for a while. You're desk-bound until further notice. This is absolute bullshit. You know... You want to make it permanent? <sighs> yeah.
Yeah, who is it? I'd rather not say. Okay. I need protection. For me and my family. Before I tell you anything, I need your assurance that we will be protected. How'd you get this number? Come on, Agent Cooper. That is the least interesting detail that I have information about. Okay, you have my attention. Last night, $2.5 billion intended for relief in Nigeria was diverted to several untraceable bank accounts. Wait, wait, wait hang, hang on. How do you know this? Because I diverted it. Yes. It was Vale Cross, no doubt about it. I didn't think he had the balls. How interesting. Well, the first call he'll make will be to the FBI asking for protection. And he'll offer them the money in exchange. And we can't allow that to happen. Good. I'm not immature. She's being unreasonable. I'm 18 years old, Daddy. I can go out when I want. Zoe, I didn't say you couldn't go. I just said you couldn't drive my car. I'm not talking to you, Catherine. Why did you marry her anyway? She's not mom age. It's, it's totally gross. God, why do you always have to be so mean? Okay, I'll try. Weil ich nicht für ihn halten konnte, hielt an der Tod für mich. I don't speak that language. Are you here for my dad? He deals with a lot of sketchy foreign guys. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. Emily Dickinson. I love her. Miss Fairbrows. School's out for summer. blaming him for the charges trying to leave their uh. town. All right, that's all we've got time for. And now moving to headline news at the top of the hour with our very own Fiona Crenshaw. Hello, Zoe. It's a helpless feeling, isn't it, Arnie? Huh? <laughs> you take from me, I take from you. I'll get you your money back. I swear. I know you will. I just need a little bit of time. Well, I've got all the time in the world, but unfortunately, your daughter doesn't have that luxury. Please, don't hurt her. Well, her well-being is entirely in your hands. I tell you what, because I like you, you've got 48 hours. Patricia, I knew you missed me. Desperately. Really just thought you might be interested in something I picked up at brunch. One of the waiters? Ha, huh, cute. Actually, no, but you know that missing aid money for Nigeria? 
Hard to forget $2.5 billion. Exactly. Well, I've found it. All of it. Where? In accounts managed by a private banker, Arnie Bailcross. You know him? Heard of him. Like most thieves, he tries to stay off the radar. Sorry, old boy. A lot of people are looking for that money. None of them with good intentions. I tracked Vail Cross to San Diego. Meet me there. On my way. Just need to chuck a few things in a bag. Morning, ladies. Oh, and I took your advice and got rid of the beer. Whatever makes you happy. Cheers. What you got for me? Well, the call definitely originated from the Grand Del Mar Resort in San Diego. Uh-huh. Now, the guest registry didn't bring up any obvious suspects, but I did find something interesting. Oh, yeah? So, one of the guests is listed as a Ronald Crossvale, which is a pretty obvious recombination of Arnold Vale Cross, a banker at BICI who's been red flagged in our system for the last couple of years. Thank God for this stupid criminal mind. Uh, what's BICI? Bank of International Credit and Investment. IRS have been after them for years. Major tax cheats, offshore accounts, suspected money laundering. Just the sort of people who can not only steal, but wipe clean $2.5 billion. Right. <sighs> what's wrong, sweetie? I don't even know why I'm bothering. I'm, I'm grounded. There's no way that Sims is gonna let me fly out west and deal with all this. I've been thinking about that. Yeah? My girlfriend used to date a guy in the International Ops Division who would probably love to help you out. Oh, yeah? Who? Special Agent John Vernack. Vernack? Mm-hmm. And you wanna know why? Huh. She says he's been chasing your saint for years. Really? Huh. Fernak. Please tell me you're here. Is Veilcross here is a more important question. He is. For how much longer, I have no idea. Well, if he tries to leave, I expect you to use your many charms to keep him there. You are such a boy, Simon Templar. Zoe. Help! Sweetheart. Zoe! Zoe! Daddy! They're gonna kill me! As you can hear, your daughter's getting rather agitated. Have you got my money yet? Yes. Of course, just tell me what I gotta do. Well, wire the full amount to the account number you were sent, and your daughter will be returned to you unharmed. How can I trust you? <laughs> Frankly, I don't see you have much of a choice. That's right. Thank you. Her name's Jenya. Vale Cross knows we have his daughter. He'll give us the money. We've got a problem. A new problem. Templar's here. Was Simon Templar? Yes. Huh. After handed to Vale Cross, bringing in outside hell, I may have underestimated him. On the other hand, the universe has a funny way of circling back on itself, doesn't it? We should kill Templar now. Patience, Marius. We don't want to spook Vale Cross before he transfers the money now, do we? Yes, but if Templar gets in the way. Well, that I leave entirely to your discretion. This will be fun. 
You poolside? Whenever possible. Lovely day. What exactly are you wearing out there? Oil. Oh. Using any protection? Always. You know me. Hmm. Focus, darling. Our mission is to get the bank info from the Veilcross safe. It's in the Manchester sweep. One guard at the door. What kind of safe am I hitting? Keller 9000. If he has the account data, it'll be in there. You are a very clever girl, Miss Holmes. I know. FBI. <sighs> Mr. Veilcross, how do you do? I'm Special Agent John Henry Furnack. I understand you have information for me regarding the uh, assets. No, I don't. You don't? Well, then why'd you call the FBI regarding your employer? I must have dialed the wrong number, Inspector. Oh. I no longer work for BICI. Were you stealing from them? Did they catch you? Threaten you? Look, I'm sorry, Inspector. You made your trip for nothing. Not nothing. It's never nothing, Mr. Veilcross. Good day. Followed you here from Russia? No, different agent. But I know these FBI boys talk to each other. You know, there's something too easy about this. I thought the same thing when I traced the accounts. It's like Veilcross wanted to be found. Simon, be careful. No risk, no reward. So where am I headed? 310. The room right next to Veilcross's suite. Now be nice to the bodyguard. Morning. Housekeeping. If you could do your thing, please, Miss Holm. Hey, there's a guard right behind the adjoining door. Decent bloody Mary won't fix. Seen this before, haven't you? That is the symbol of the Knights Templar. What is it, Simon? What did you find? Simon? This is a very thoughtful gift, Mr. Velcross. I've been looking for my father's ring for a long time. May I show you something? Would you mind telling me why you lured me here? I, I figured you wouldn't want to talk with a guy like me, but maybe for $2.5 billion you would. You figured right. Unless you're going to cut me a check, what can I do for you? My daughter's been kidnapped. Well, the FBI's in the building. Why not talk to them? If I let the FBI handle this, I'll never see my daughter again. My sympathies, Mr. Veilcross, but when you launder cash for the world's most corrupt dictators, that kind of thing tends to happen. I hid the money. I was going to give it to the FBI, but my daughter was taken before I could turn it over. Look, if they'll exchange her for the money, just do it. They'll just kill me. They'll kill my daughter. She doesn't deserve that. That's why I need you. To handle the exchange. To help us get away safely. Please. You're the saint. You Americans always take everything so literally. Simon, Simon, get out of there now!
It's okay. It's okay. The account numbers are, are in your ring. The key is in the Nomad. Please save my little girl. Where did you get the ring? Simon Templer. Remember me? Put the bloody gun down, Fernand, and call an ambulance. <laughs> Put the gun down, no. Put your hands up! Now! After years of chasing you around the globe, I finally got the same. Simon! This had better be good news. Things got a little out of hand. Bearcross is dead. And Templar? Templar got away. Probably with my money. Are you losing your touch, Marius? I can fix this. Yes, well, I sincerely hope so. Answer when you heard me call. I'm sorry, I was reading. I have someone I want you to meet. Someone very special. His name is Zander. How do you do, sir? I do just fine, young man. Well, I shall leave you to it. Leave us to what? I think I'll let Zander explain that. Good luck. I've heard you've been having some troubles at school. Don't be ashamed, Simon. It happens to the best of us. What are you, a, a head doctor? A head doctor? You know, a, a psychiatrist? No. While I like to believe that my teachings help heal mind and body, I'm not a doctor. I'm a trainer. After we get finished here, no bully in the entire United Kingdom will dare mess with you. Good reflexes. Now hit me. What? Hit me. Don't be scared. Loosen up a little on the grip. That's it. Lesson one. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Can you teach me to do that? Yes. And much more. Now hit me again. That's crazy. A helicopter attack in broad daylight? You know what? I'm gonna sleep with my shoes on. There's never a dull moment when Simon Templer comes to L.A. Uh, how's all that gear working out for you? I can see why you're Simon's go-to for local transport and optech. Doyle, any chance of some breakfast? Two boiled eggs, toast, marmalade, and a pint of coffee. What, do you think I'd forget, boss? Okay, so we got two and a half billion dollars floating in the wind. I've always wanted to buy my own Hawaii. What's 10% of two and a half billion split three ways. 83.3 million. Money is ransom for the banker's daughter. We're not keeping it. Sorry if that puts a damper on your real estate ambitions. How are we gonna find all this money that we're not, you know, keeping? My long lost ring. Veilcross said that the account numbers are on it somewhere. Templar Cross. Symbolizing those who've dedicated their life to the service of others. In theory, anyway. The inscriptions, Latin. Nullum est periculum non macedi. No risk, no reward. That's recent work. 
Oh, yes. Huh. I think that is what detectives would call a clue. Looks like a diamond. It's synthetic. Doyle, does this house we're squatting in have a DVD player? With all due respect, you are as beautiful as you are tech-friendly. Where did you find her? It was the Rue Balkali Desert, and she was a vision of grace in dire circumstances. It was hardly dire. I had the situation well in hand. Enhabara al Hasud? Tell the kilo in the infijar. Akhud al Mara? La, bad in infijar. Akun Masur. Beautiful woman in chains and three dead bodies 60 miles south of Baghdad. I can't wait to hear this one. Ha, uh, uh. You know, if you let me put my hands down, I might be able to find the key to those chains. You're British. To the core. I even understand cricket. Special forces? Motorcycle holiday. In Iraq. Well, the gas is very cheap here at the moment. Mm. Do you have a name? Patricia Holm. Simon Templer. Can I offer you a lift somewhere, Miss Holm? That's enough of the flattery. It's only flattery, Miss Holm, if it isn't true. Now, what are we looking at here? Scrambled bank account numbers, I assume. I need the right frequency to decrypt the data and a password or a key. Before he died, Veilcross said the key is in the Nomad. A Nomad is a digital file, but it doesn't live on a computer but in separate packets on multiple servers, not here. I love it when you talk, nerd. So we need to find this nomad, get the key, read the crystal, swap it for the girl, and Bob's your uncle. So where the devil do we start? The Veilcross home? Doyle, have you checked the garage? I love a flash ride. If we have the kids, it's a family trip, love. Trust me. Captain, exact same dough. It's like zygotes. They could go either way. You know, it's a pizza or donuts, donuts or pizza. Hey, donut pizza. There's another one. Yeah, there's another one. FBI. Oh. <laughs> Special Agent John Henry Furnack. You must be Captain Miller. And I'm, uh, and I'm Garces. Detective, actually. Yeah, the guys down at the precinct said you, um, you might be here. Oh, yeah, this is our spot. I got the call you'd be showing up. Could let me finish my lunch. What's this about? It's about this. Simon Templar, international thief coming out of London and New York. I've been chasing him for years. And? And he's here in LA. I need the help of a native. I'm 18th Cherokee. Take him, please. The Cherokee? Thanks, Kev. It's gonna be fun. Who are we today? Insurance investigators here to appraise the estate. You keep her busy. I'll scan the electronics for signs of the Nomad. Uh, Mrs. Valecross, so sorry for your loss. We represent the holders of your husband's life insurance. Are you Simon Templer? Yes. Yes, I am. Come in. I heard what happened to Arnie on the radio when I was coming home from work. When I walked into the house, the phone was ringing. It was the kidnappers. They said you'd be coming, and if I called the police, they'd kill Zoe. Until that moment, you had no idea she'd been taken. No, I thought she was out with friends. Zoe and I never really got along. She thought I was too young to be with her dad. Mrs. Veilcross, how much did you know about Arnie's banking activities? I knew the men Arnie represented were evil. I knew he helped them steal and hide billions from the countries they ruled. 
But you know, recently, I don't know, maybe through my influence, he, he had a change of heart. He wanted that money to go back to those countries, back to those people, just so they could have better lives. But I feel so guilty, like I'm responsible for what happened to my husband and so. You shouldn't blame yourself. I'm gonna find that money and use it to bring your stepdaughter home, okay? Thank you. I scanned the computers, but the drives had been wiped. Arnie must have done it remotely before he was killed. So where lies our nomad? The data we need is off-site. It'll take time to find it. Time we don't have. Kidnappers didn't happen to leave a phone number, did they? talking as long as you can. Templar. Shame I missed you in San Diego. Sorry about your helicopter, old boy. It's okay. It was stolen. I'm more upset about you screwing my arm steel. Well, the container of assault rifles in Mali. I thought that blew up rather nicely. Shall we set the exchange? The girl for the money? I need a bit more time. So why don't you send the girl home to Mum as a sign of goodwill, and Patricia and I will keep looking for the money. You know I can't release her without cash in hand. Let's say 24 hours, and she dies. Tell Patricia I say hello. Rate Marius says hello. Does he? Didn't know you two were acquainted. Before your time, darling. I only got a partial trace. Not enough to get his exact location. The money. Can you get the money? Rate's waiting for it, which means we have a bit of time. But we need to get moving. If I don't see that money, you'll die just like your daddy. No! <laughs> Please stop. Please. Okay. I'm in a band with a bunch of cops. I've got that metronome oh, going well, on. Oh, well, that time. explains it. You don't carry on. Let me ask you a question. The guy that we want is right there. Why don't we grab him? No, that would be the worst move we can make. If we wanted to bust him. I'm just saying. He's a person of interest in the Valcross homicide. No, because he's our best chance at recovering that money. The minute he gets it, I will be there. All we need to worry about is not losing sight of him. of Grandview and Lake. That's Arnie's data facility. Can you hack into it? I'm testing their firewalls. Hard to imagine you and Rate Marius having much to talk about. You're right. We didn't. So, what exactly did you and he do? Simon. What? I'm entitled to some degree of curiosity, aren't I? We have been on the road together for a year now. And by design, we've avoided any nights of wine-addled oversharing. We all have our secrets. Okay, back off, back off, back off. I'm sorry, you gotta stop, I can't take that. What, well, okay. The yelling, I cannot take the yelling. You told me to, to, to stay close to these guys. Sorry? It's just that if you rear in them, guess what? They're gonna know we're behind them! I've never tailed anyone. How are you a detective? Guys, firewall's too heavy. I'll have to find an interesting way to liberate that file. It's gonna be really interesting. I think we're being tailed. Ah, oh, bloody hell. It's furnace. Darling, can you run in those heels? You see? Out of the way! Up here! Move! Go after her! She's faster than him! Oh, 
Where are you going to go now? You're under arrest. Ready for an Three guns. You only have two hands. Enjoy this moment, because I'll be coming after you again. You know, it doesn't have to be like this, Fernak. We could work together. I don't work with criminals. I lock them up. Not me, my friend. Not ever. Not late, darling. You're on Simon time. How'd you leave things with Agent Furnack? Uh, better than that car factory in Cologne, but uh, slightly more humiliating than Mumbai. Mm. So the data storage facility's in there, is it? Yeah, the Nomad file is on their network. In a server room somewhere. We'll use that trick from Studio Nippon. Following the power drain? Yeah. Gotcha. The servers are in the sub-basement. And the Nomad packets. How do we hook those fish? Bait box. Splice them to the hard line, send them out one by one. That leads us to the money, which we then swap for the girl. One problem. Bail cross accounts shut down and reboot at 6 a.m. Then we'll never find the money. Simon, rape will kill Zoe. We need to gear up as soon as possible. On that clock? There's only one spot in town that'll have the gear we need. Sonali Alves. I haven't seen her since Rio. There is no chance she has forgiven you for that, boss. What happened in Rio? Um... Carnivale. Who's Sonali Alves? I'm surprised Simon hasn't told you about her. Is she a butcher? Sometimes. Is it too late to order? I'm thinking some Chiejo Minas with Pinao in a half moon pastes and maybe some Cuscos Branco. You used to be happy to see my face. Remember breakfast in bed at the Coca Palace? <laughs> whoa, 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 tranquilo, huh? You clip me, I take out your boss. Sonali, I know I'm not your favorite person anymore, but we need your help. You burnt my super note deal. I lost everything the ink, the copier built to federal specs. Look, we had a wonderful time together, but I simply couldn't let you destabilize the global economy. An influx of counterfeit. Simon! Cash. Now's not the time. Listen to me. We need your help. A girl's been kidnapped. In order to save her, we need to buy some of your gear. We have cash. We pay retail. Hmm. You two are okay. All right. For him. He's got to pay for what he's done. Obtera right. rhinoceronte. Rhinoceros? Talk about this. It's back another Freon spinner, the acidic gel, and the fiber optic splicer with petabyte piggyback. Big box? Oh, yeah. Do you need anything else? Um, no. I think I'm good. Are you not at all concerned about Simon? Of course, the steroids cause liver damage and erectile dysfunction. Other side effects include acne, testicular atrophy, and prostate swelling. Seriously.
Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here's your 40. Mm. It was good doing business with you, girl. Likewise. I'm sorry about your guy. He's not my guy. We're associates. He has never made love to you. Are you recommending it? Much as I would love to hear the answer to that. Ah, we have somewhere to be. Are we done here? Mm. Very good. Sonali? Mm -hmm. Ciao. Ciao. Viva puta. So as is this. Uh, I just said you weren't one to take a punch. Oh, it's all pretend. Oh, how are we for time? Server resets in 40. Mm. Your point of entry is the emergency exit. Uh, Simon. Uh, are you sure you can muster the strength for a midnight heist? Of course I can muster, Patricia. I'm British. We invented muster. Did you? Yeah. I found Templar and the girl. They're on their way to the money. This may work out as planned. If I want your opinion, Maris, I will ask for it. Simon Templar is not going to just hand over 2.5 billion. He's going to try and be a hero. What would he like me to do? Your job. Okay. <laughs> I am not going to let an innocent girl pay for the sins of her father. Saintly courage. Worthy of a Templar. <laughs> Templars are nothing but a boy's own bedtime story of medieval knights gone bad. And yet, you go charging to the rescue hard on your sleeve. Yeah. Can you keep this safe for me while I'm inside? Giving me a ring without taking a knee. Well, I'd hate to ruin this wonderful friendship that neither one of us deserve. Will you agree, Miss Holm? No risk, no reward. That's it. Hey! What's wrong? That wasn't fair. Fair? No battle in the history of mankind has ever been fair, Simon. This isn't a game where rules exist to ensure integrity between participants in order to determine a winner and loser. This is life. Was it fair to the Japanese at Hiroshima? Or what about the Jews in Poland? Fair is something created by the weak because they know they can't defeat the strong. But what about honor? <laughs> I know you love your Templar Knight stories, Simon, but at some point you'll have to realize that they're just stories. It's a survival of the fittest out there. Your enemies will seek out any and all advantages they can. You must be prepared. How do you prepare for the unexpected? By expecting everything. I'm at the outer access door. You need to disable the alarm. I'm on it. I've got Doyle flying in to plant the hotspot. If I have to, someone's getting tased. Just get in there. Excuse me. Hi. Sorry to disturb you. Um, I was just wondering if you could show me where the restroom is. No. OK. I guess I'm just going to have to hold it. But you got a bad attitude, pal. What is this? Um. Honestly, you fitted these locks. Give me a minute, darling. Doyle's got a problem. <clears throat> Oof. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can explain. I can explain. You know what? Talk to her. She'll explain. She'll explain. No, seriously, you should have a conversation with you her. You want seriously. me? <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, I got the whole situation under control. Go, you go, 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 go. Come here, buddy. Come here. Back on task, Simon. Huh? And have a little conversation about manners, huh? Uh. Alarm is down. Go, go, go. That's weird. That guy was unconscious two seconds ago. Um. All right. Best way into the server room is through the vault door. Careful. It's rigged with explosive bolts, and if these are touched, an alarm is triggered, and a set of secondary doors are released. You're gonna have to leave those hinges in place. I'm through. Now, the floor behind the escape hatch is made up of pressure-sensitive floating tiles. These must be frozen before you can step on them. The tiles will thaw in 10 seconds, so be quick. Okay, I'm in the biometric scanner. Can you, uh, give me a hand? You are now Sydney Bellsberg. No, make that Alexandra Cravoy. Start the download. All right, let's go fishing. Hello, Miss Holm. <sighs> Fernick. Finally. Looks like he's in the server room. Watch her. I'm gonna go up to Templar. I'm Garces. Detective Garces. Charmed. FBI. Where's your server room? It's in the basement. You, black jacket. Wipe your nose, grab your gun, you come over with me. Yes, sir. What about me? Yeah, what about you? I do that, an innocent girl is gonna die. Saving people's lives is my job, not yours. Whatever you say. You did it, I? Your concern for your colleague is touching. He's not dead. No. Miss Holm. Special Agent John Henry Fernack. I have to talk to Simon. He's listening. Simon, I need the crystal from your ring. It's the only way I can access the Veilcross accounts. I have a yard at the port of Los Angeles, Pier 5. Be here by sunup and Templar, do I need to say come along? Maris will kill them both if we don't stop him. We? I'll call it in. Come on. Believe me. If you do that, they're already dead. Okay? It's your call.
These are the account numbers you'll use for the transfer. One question. When did you lose your mind? Get it done. <laughs> you really think you're something, don't you? British accent, designer clothes, my little sidekick. She's not my sidekick, she's my associate. Position I'd like her to retain. You do know we're riding into a trap, don't you? I think that's the one thing we can count on. Guards on deck. Once I've taken care of them, get in, get the girl, get out. When all this is over, I'm taking you in. Taking a cruise without me, darling. Ever the hero or predictable. The ring, if you please. Where's the girl? Bring her up. Send her up. Here. Finish the job, or I finish you. That's not how you talk to a lady. I talk to my wife anywhere, please. Ex-wife. Were you going to mention this? You didn't ask. I'm special agent John Henry Farnack. You're gonna be okay, but you cannot make a sound, okay? Okay? I'm gonna take this off, yeah. Templar family ring. Poor little Simon. His mummy and his daddy shot dead right before his eyes. How do you know about that? How do you think Valacross got this in the first place? From the same man who shot your mother and your father. It's only me you're after. Leave my family out of this. First time my dad brought you home, I knew it. And you know something? It feels good to be right. Shut up. Well, well, isn't this a morning full of surprises? What's so surprising about a gold digger killing her husband for his money? <laughs> It's over, Marius. Let the girl go. Saving the girl won't bring your parents back. Who 
killed them. Who killed my parents? You were Simon Templar. Just a pawn in a bigger game. How are you doing? She just used him and took him for everything he had. You should know your father was a very brave man. He risked his life trying to return money stolen from people that desperately need it. If you like, you can finish what he started. Just press enter and the money will be returned to those who need it most. You'll be okay. Thank you. Say goodbye to your boyfriend. I still love him. I'll get him out. Actually, you won't. Templar. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is all the information we have at this time. Uh, Mr. President, President DeBarker, do you know any details surrounding the missing fund's sudden reappearance? I don't know where this money vanished to, or where it came back from. But right now, all I care about is using these funds to help my fellow countrymen devastated by this horrible catastrophe. I was expecting your call. Too bad your thug Marius failed in his endeavors. He's not my thug. Your man recommended him for the job. Look, we can lay blame later on. Right now, I need help disappearing for a while. You can try it, but you'd better hurry. You are not leaving me to take the fall for this. I'm sorry, but the Brotherhood has decided. Taken me an unusually long time to find you. Looking for this? I'm getting too old for this. Hello, Simon. It's been a while. I have someone I want you to meet. Someone very special. His name is Zander. Zander. Take whatever you want. Jewelry, silverware. We don't have any money in the house. You of all people should know that money is the motivator of lesser minds. And what motivates the Brotherhood? World peace. <laughs> so smug, so holier than thou. But a Templar is just a crusader by another name. We, too, have a holy cause to wipe every last Templar 
from the face of the earth. It's only me you're after. Leave my family, my wife, out of this. My father asked you for mercy, not for himself, for his family, and you gave him none. I'm glad it's you, Simon. It ought to be you. But there's more than just me out there. The Brotherhood will be coming after you. I'll worry about that when you're dead. Can't do it. There's still a little boy concerned with honor. I'm no assassin. I'm a Templar. You're weak, like your father. He wasn't weak. He welcomed you into his home, and you betrayed him. But I'd rather be weak than whatever it is you are. Good luck, Sander. You're gonna need it. You do understand, don't you, that with one phone call, I won't spend a single day in jail. We'll see. Hands up, you're under arrest. Special Agent Cooper, FBI. Agent Cooper, pleasure to see you again. Wish I could say the same. I see you brought a friend with you. Yes, this is my associate, Agent Dora Lee. Based just on what I've tapped into during his file transfers in the last half an hour, he's got enough connections to terror groups and suspect funds to keep Homeland Security busy for a long time. What are the charges? What makes you think we're charging you with anything? The U.S. government just wants to talk to you. Under National Defense and Authorization Act, sections 1021 to 1022, which authorizes the indefinite detention of terrorism suspects. You see, we don't like to rush into anything without the facts. Facts that could take a long time to unearth. Yeah. And that's for you, Mr. Temp. <laughs> Son of a... <laughs> take him away. One out of two criminal masterminds isn't bad. I guess I should be glad that Fernak did all the legwork and then let me get the collar. <laughs> 